and welcome to Two Mums and a Camera. We are back. We're back. We're back. Again. And we have some really exciting news. We have started sort of a platform. A movement. A, a movement. Not Please tell me you're not having a movement. <laughs> Let's not do that on camera. But it is. It really is. So it's called Yana. You are not alone. And I'm sure you've heard my daughter, Jessie B, talking about it. And we are so excited. It got started by a group of women that usually get together and we do some great things for the community and other things. But this was sort of something that we've been dreaming about for a long time and just connecting with people who are alone and don't have other people in their lives, good friends, maybe family members. They're feeling really isolated and alone. And I thought it was really important that we develop something that we can reach out to others. And all minds came together and we thought this through and hence the Yana platform. When we started talking about ways in which we could reach out to people, it occurred to us that the common denominator for most things is when people feel like they're alone. And so we decided that we would try to tackle that in a way. I know it's a very small drop in all the loneliness in the world, but you're talking about kids in school that feel isolated, like my daughter going off to university and feeling isolated there. Me feeling isolated as my kids left the house and yep. feeling like I didn't know what to do with my spare time. I had kind of let my friendships go into the back burner. So, Yan is about trying to rekindle that and reaching out to people and knowing truly that you're not alone. And so we will put links down below. There's an Instagram page right, and, a, and Facebook a Facebook page. So please go and visit us. Even if you're not feeling alone, talking and reaching out to others who are on the platform is such an amazing idea. So we really hope that we see you all there on Instagram and on Facebook. Facebook. And if you are dealing with loneliness, there's so many things that you can do besides reaching out to platforms like this. There's organizations that you can join. There's courses you can take. There's so many things that you can do to be part of a bigger community. And it's hard. It really is. It's hard to sort of be the first person to come out and make a move like that, especially if you're feeling shy or withdrawn. And it's hard. It's a hard thing to do. But I think once you do, you feel so much better about yourself and you are able to make connections with other people who are like you. So one of the things that I struggled with was reaching out to my friends because I thought they must be busy they wouldn't you know they wouldn't want to meet me for a coffee or, or whatever and I figured out that if I just reach out to people the key is not to be offended if they are actually busy and they can't meet mm -hmm. with you exactly and try again and keep trying and when you stop taking everything personally and you don't think that this person isn't meeting with you because they just don't want to see you, then it frees you up to keep trying to reach out to people. And I think it's a wonderful thing and I really have made some really great relationships recently mm -hmm. and it has really helped me. And what I've realized more than anything else is that all the women that are in my friend group, they're going through the exact same things mm -hmm. that I am. So even though I feel like I'm alone, it's only a perception. I'm not alone. Everybody's going through the same things. And I feel like if you're in school, that's the same thing. So reach out to someone because I guarantee you they're feeling the same way. There's always people that are going through the same thing that you are and that will be a compatible friend. And it may not be the first person you reach out to. You may get rejected and that's okay. Yeah. Feel good about yourself and what you're trying to relate to the That's other the person. hardest thing to do is to be okay with rejection. Yeah. But honestly, you learn from it. You just need to plow ahead and try again. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. But you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> you can do it. Anyway. So follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Yana. Go check it out. You are not alone. Yeah.